Hey guys, this is Bales. I'm on the NBA player ratings page. We just launched NBA and I wanted to show you how to use this page. Um, it's completely free and all of the data on it is free. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff. If you like it, uh, definitely check out um, our player models where you can take this data and a lot of other data, um, uh, a lot of other stuff and um, weight it however you'd like, model it, back test and create your own player models and then optimize lineups off of the models that you create, which is really cool. But um, yeah, so we have uh, these ratings for players which show um, historical per percentile rank in a particular category. So here's what we can look at. Bargain, salary change, pro trends, upside consistency, plus minus. Bargain rating is just the historic um, difference in, in site salaries. So um, Paul Millsap in this example, uh, we're looking at DraftKings. He has a uh, a bargain rating of 88%, which is high. It means that he's in the 88th percentile in terms of the difference between his salary on um, the DFS sites, which is another way of saying he's a really good bargain on um, DraftKings. If you were to click Vandal, he would have a poor bargain rating on that site. Um, salary change is the salary change over the past month, which is a good uh, predictor of value. Pro trends are the trends that we create. And if you're a subscriber and a, um, you have pro access, you can create your own trends using our database of uh, stats. So on this particular day that we're looking at, Russell Westbrook had the um, most pro trends. Um, upside is how often a player um, falls within uh, a half a standard deviation of um, his implied points. So based on a player's salary, so Kevin Martin, for example, um, at 5,800 on DraftKings, we know how many points uh, historically players in that salary range have scored. Um, and if uh, a player passes that number, um, that's considered a consistent performance, which is the next category. And if he is a uh, half a standard deviation above that, um, he uh, it counts uh, for a game with upside. So on the season, um, Kevin Martin um, had 47% upside. 47% of his games, he was above that number, and that ranks in the 93rd percentile historically. And then plus minus is how many points above or below that expectation player uh, players have scored um, per game. And then so we can see Russell Westbrook last year with 95th percentile had one of the highest plus minuses in the league despite the high salary. So it's a really good way to put players on an even playing field. So you can see it's not all cheap players here. It's just the best players relative to their cost. Um, and then you can look at all the other data we have in addition to pro trends, bargain rating, um, how many games in a row a player has been at home or on the road, their rest, a bunch of Vegas information where public uh, – um, betting is coming in, so 57% of bets in this game were on Milwaukee. Um, Over-under spread, uh, implied points, um, and then some uh, fantasy DFS-specific information that I talked about as well. So definitely check it out. If you like this, um, I, I, would, I would definitely recommend checking out the Pro subscription because we have a lot more data. You get to play with it in trends. Um, and then build your own models and create lineups in, in player models, which is pretty awesome.